Okay, here we are off to another gig, going to a wedding. It's a place I haven't been to in a long time. Um, I used to go to this place in the 80s, but uh, if I remember correctly, they tore down the old building and they built a new building. I don't think I've been in the new building, and if I have been, I, I just don't remember it. So, yeah, we'll see when we get there. The old horror story back in the 80s with this place was uh, wooden floors, and when we were spinning records, people used to uh, think it was funny when they were drunk to stomp their feet and skip the record. It was a big joke with the drunk people. It was a big nightmare for the DJ. So uh, thank goodness for the likes of CDs and uh, even better MP3. We'll see you there. Okay, I am backstage right now. I'm kind of in a little area where I can do what I want. Um, did a grand entrance. That all went fine. Now, as I was pulling into the lot here, uh, Jay, Temecula Jay, as I like to call him, Jay Brennan from uh, from Pioneer, gave me a call. He saw my video from last night and he said, dude, I really like those uh, those mega bars. Those were neat. I wonder what they'd look like vertical on a speaker stand. Well, Wicked Sounds uses four of them vertically on, uh, on a T-bar. So I thought, what the heck, let's give it a try tonight. So I'm going to use those and maybe do a little uplighting. It's kind of a weird room. Uh, it's a U-shaped. It's a beautiful room, but for me to uh, properly uplight it, it would have taken me hours. It's very crowded in there. I think they got like 240 tonight or something like that, and I think 240 is pretty much the cap. So there's not a lot of room to move around, so I didn't uh, set up a lot of uplighting yet. I might do a couple pars, but uh, for the most part, I'm just going to be using the, uh, the mega bars vertically on the speaker stands, and I'll show you what that looks like. So there they are. I've got them clamped on the speaker stand. Perfectly facing out. I think we're going to be very bright, but uh, yeah, it might work out pretty cool. First, there's another one over here. I've got them hooked together, master slave, and the way I did it was um, there's a control panel right here. I'll be able to reach over pretty easily and switch this from um, like a color fade for a slow jam to more of a uh, cool strobe effect or dance effect for dance time. something a little different with the uh, American DJ PAR 64 LED Pros. That looks kind of cool. Give it a try. Slow color fade, master slave. Okay, the mega bars are very bright. I wish I knew how to dim them, but it's really catching some cool colors on the uh, bright stress. Yes, very bright. Man, they are bright. You need a diffuser or something on those. Somebody in my last video was mentioning some theatrical diffusers you might want to think about. Might not be a bad idea. of everything. You got a built-in mirror ball. Pretty cool, huh?
Okay, it's over. Um, what do you think, Jay? This one's for you. Um, a lot of people said last night that uh, although the uplighting looked really cool, that uh, the dance floor was very much lacking. And I'm going to go with you on that. Uh, definitely agree. But, you know, these are all experiments. I'm just trying to see what works and what doesn't work. I'm thinking that perhaps if there were enough uh, LED products to put uh, on the other walls, you know, bordering the dance floor, even if they weren't right up against the dance floor to uplight, maybe there would have been enough. I don't know, maybe not. Um, something we'll have to try later when we get some more lights. But uh, the mega bars uh, in that position did work. They were very bright. I think they blinded a few people. Um, maybe a bar type LED light, but not as bright, might be a better option because those were blinding. And the beam angle is relatively narrow on the mega bar. So I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but it was definitely uh, hitting certain things and not others, which was kind of odd. You would think that it would spread, but it didn't spread because of the uh, narrow beam angle of the mega bar. But it looked cool, and I think there's definitely some possibility there. It could be a stealth light show. Some up lighting and then those for your uh, dance floor lighting could be very cool. That and there was a little bit lacking um, like on people's heads. It was hitting their bodies, but not their heads. <laughs> But it was cool anyway. I, I'm sure there's there's a workaround for that. I just don't know what it is. There you go. Gig log. Practice and enjoy.